Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out with James Tennyson. You've got a big fight against Craig Evans this Saturday. Just tell us, do you think at lightweight now you finally found your ideal weight? Yeah, well, so far so good, you know. I moved up from, I think I started off at uh, featherweight, super featherweight, and now I'm lightweight, you know, I've just been growing and maturing the body, so, so far I'm comfortable lightweight. And just compare for us the weight making process now compared to what you had to go through at featherweight and super feather. Massive difference, you know, through training camp with the extra bit of weight on and sparring and training I was performing absolutely brilliant. I was more happy with performance and then once, once taking an extra four or five pounds off at the end, that's what was killing me off and it was affecting my performance. Now some people have seen this described as kind of a keep busy fight for you while you wait for an opportunity either European or world level. It does a bit of a disservice I feel to Craig Evans, do you, do you agree with that? No, not at all. You know, listen, Craig Evans is a real classy, gutsy boxer. You know, he's come with the win. You know, he works hard. He's, I know he's a hard worker and he's a tough guy. So, you know, I'm expecting a tough night. What is it you think that he brings to the table? Where do you think you hold the key advantages? Um, well, you know, listen, obviously a lot of people will be saying about my power, but I've been training for 12 rounds, hard fight, boxing, fighting, hitting, moving, whatever it needs to be, you know, I'm well prepared. Does it become a bit of a kind of pressure on you, the power situation, that people now expect you to go and bang people out early all the time? Uh, no, yeah, not really, no, you know, I never actually, I'll never go out with the intentions of, hang on, knock this guy out. They, they present themselves and they take him, and, you know, it's been working so far so good. Do you see this as kind of the last stepping stone before another major fight? Is Craig Evans of that level that you think this could propel you to either a world title shot or an eliminator, perhaps? Fingers crossed, you know, listen, I believe Saturday night being Craig Evans will show, you know, that will show my class. I know a lot of people have been saying I'm above that domestic level. Do I feel so? Yeah, sort of do, but you know, this will be what's, this will, this will confirm it for me, you know, as I say, like, where I'm at. Who are you targeting at Lightweight or which title or who, what's in your plans? I'm not, a, I'm not a guy for calling people out, you know, but listen, I want to fight some big tennis next year. You know, I need to get past Craig Evans to do so, so, you know, I'm well prepared to, to get the job done on Saturday night. Lomachenko aside, because we feel even now or after his next fight, he's probably going to move down. Who do you consider the best lightweight in the world? Yes, I will. I'm not sure, you know, there's, there's a, few, a few guys out there who, you know, they've got a good name for themselves, you know, they'll be the name for themselves, you know, I'm fit and in. An easy fight to make, arguably, at lightweight would be you and Luke Campbell, both on the fringe of a world title shot. Is that, is that a fight you'd welcome? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm a fighter, absolutely. You know, there's no fight any of them guys out there, you know. I've just as much chance as anybody else, you know. And you've got Devin Haney, of course, WBC champion. He's also with Matt True. St. Patrick's Day not far away. Is that is that something you think about as well? I would absolutely love that. That would, would be awesome. That would be amazing. You know, but listen, I'm happy to have myself. I need to beat Craig Evans on Saturday night before we think of any big opportunities like that. And just last of all, people that have never seen you fight before, and I imagine there's not many of them now, but if there are, what can they expect from you on Saturday night? Fireworks, you know, listen, I, I bring it to any guy out there, you know, I bring it, I'll come and give the top five for anybody, so, you know, it'll be fireworks. Brilliant. Well, we wish you the very best of luck. We'll be watching. We'll be on the edge of our seat, I imagine. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.